Let me show you how to make jack-o'-lantern deviled eggs. Hey, Chef Des, corporate chef of BC Egg coming at you. We're going to do something fun for Halloween. We're going to do jack-o'-lantern deviled eggs. I know you've probably had deviled eggs a million times in your lifetime. We're going to kick it up a notch by making them very decorative for Halloween. Watch how we're going to do this. First, we have six hard-boiled eggs. I've already had them peeled. If you want some great tips on how to hard-boil an egg and how to peel a hard-boiled egg, just check out bcegg.com. I may even put the links down below for you. I have a couple of great videos on that. So what we're going to do is slice these eggs in half uh, lengthwise. I like to use a fillet knife because it's a lot narrower and it just works a lot easier. So just cut them in half, okay? And do all that part first and then set them aside. Look at these eggs, they're just perfectly cooked where the yolk is just done. All right, once you have them sliced, we're gonna carefully just pop out the yolks like so and put them into a small mixing bowl. Once you have that done, we're gonna take a little bit of paprika and we're gonna dust these egg whites. Watch this, and I use a little strainer just to make it nice and even and we don't get any lumping of the paprika. It's mainly just to get the, the top of it, the sliced part decorated because the yolk, obviously, the yolk filling is gonna be going in the, in the hole there. The next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna create our filling from these yolks. Mayonnaise. Next ingredient is a little secret ingredient, butter. Yeah, room temperature butter. What that does, it really helps the filling to set up really nice. Dijon mustard. Sweet green relish. A little bit of red wine vinegar, a little bit of sugar, a little bit of Worcestershire sauce, salt, and pepper. And we're just going to mix all that together. And you may want to switch to a sturdier utensil, like a spoon or a fork. All right, next step is we're gonna fill that into a piping bag. If you haven't got a piping bag, we're just gonna use a, a zip top sandwich bag. Watch this. We're gonna open that up and just take our filling and try and place it to one of the corners of the bag, like so, okay, at the bottom. It's a little tricky, but you can do it. Push it all the way down to the end Seal it up. I made a little mess there, that's okay. And then what we're gonna do, take the end of that piping bag, or sandwich bag, and we're just gonna snip the end off. Get our eggs and just gently fill each one. You wanna fill it so it comes out the top, obviously, and that way you have lots of area to decorate with your eyes, nose, and mouth. And don't be too picky about it. Every pumpkin looks a little bit misshapen, right? You don't want these absolutely perfect. I mean, if you want to go ahead and make them all perfect, go ahead and do that. I just don't want you to stress out about it. It's supposed to be fun. Something fun for the kids to do. If you have any left, just go back and top up the ones that need it. All right. Now comes your platter. And we can put them on the platter so we can decorate them. All right. Okay, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to take the skin off a cucumber and we're going to use those green strips to cut into eyes, noses, and mouths so we can decorate these jack landers. Let me show you how we're going to do this. So it's better to have too much than not enough. So just skin a cucumber so you have lots of pieces to work with. That's good enough for now. I'll show you what we're going to do here. And then cut it into workable pieces. All I want you to do now is get a 
a really perfect rectangular shape like that, okay? And we're just gonna go through and go back and forth and see what we're doing. We're creating these little triangles, okay? Some obviously are gonna be smaller, some are bigger, but just like a real jack-o'-lantern, nothing is perfect, right? I mean, again, if you wanna take your time and make sure every single triangle is absolutely perfect, you can do that. But again, I don't want you to stress over this. It's supposed to be fun. So get something for the kids to do, right? Get them involved with good old BC eggs. If you're counting, obviously we have 12 halves to work with. So we need 24 eyes and we need 12 noses. So you can go ahead and uh, count out 36 triangles as you're going about this if you want to, or just do a whole bunch and then choose the best out of all the ones you did. Once you have your eyes and your noses, let's just set those to the side. I'm gonna show you how to do the mouths. Now what I want you to do is create like a little segment like that and then get a cookie cutter. You wanna get a small cookie cutter, something that's round, really sharp curve to it. And it's best if you choose one that's fluted like this. So you get almost those little ridges of the mouth, okay? Take your cookie cutter at the sharp curve of it, press it in, and that will create your outline of your mouth, okay? Now take it again, move it a little ways up, press it down, and carefully separate your mouth. Keep doing that until you have 12 mouths. Let me show you how this is gonna look. So what you can do for decorating, obviously it's a little finicky, okay? You can use the tip of a knife. Or if you find that's difficult, sanitize a pair of tweezers and you can always use that instead. Let me just grab a, a good looking nose here. And then the eyes. And I'm using the dark green on the outside. I want the dark green to show so it looks like it's actually cutouts of the jack lantern. Don't use the lighter colored green from the inside of the skin. And again, don't fuss with it. it should look fun and the kids should have a good time doing it. Have a look at these jack lantern devil eggs. Aren't they fantastic? Hey, thanks for watching. Happy Halloween from Chef Dez and BCEgg.com. Where are you getting your protein from?